this update has to do with this. It's gonna be a really crappy episode. Here we go. Okay, weekend homestead, another update. This time I got the boy going along with me. We got that other maple syrup done. Now we're gonna go head out and go see if we have any more syrup. And I have a very special surprise for something we're gonna deliver here in just a minute up to the upper homestead. Here we go. All right. We have a very special delivery here. I got my buddy with. You ready to go, bud? Yeah. So here we are, upper homestead. We've got a cool delivery today. Um, if you guys remember, we built this outhouse with the glass door, which is still glass, by the way, and you can see through it. But I've got a pretty interesting addition to it today that I got in the back of the truck. Picked it up on Friday and gonna install it here on Saturday. Here we are. I had a very special seat made for our outhouse. It's got a nice clear finish, so it'll be easy to clean, and it's got a nice rustic look. We're gonna install it today in the outhouse. All right, so as you can see, I have to have you a really funny angle in order to see this, so sorry about the angle here, but right here is the pit. I've got a storage space here, and I've got a storage space on the other side, and this is the new top for the outhouse. Look at that, it fit. First time. Pretty good. Perfect fit. I do need to mount the actual seat onto there, and then there's a little bit of flashing that we're gonna put onto it to make sure that there's uh, no leaking or anything like that. That little door you see right there actually goes to a cubby underneath there where the electrical is for this. So all the electrical is in this cubby and I can access it at any time. And then we'll have an outlet switch right here that runs up to this outlet right here on the ceiling and I have two wires in here this red blue or red and black is the 12 volt and the other wire is 110 so if I ever switch it around I have both 12 volt and 110 in here inside of this column is the vent that goes outside and it draws from that vent pipe right there well, in that tube, there's a fan. So when you turn on this switch and turn on the light on the ceiling, it turns on the fan right there. So we'll get good ventilation through here. But I like how it finished out here. Nice, comfortable round seat. We'll get this all squared away. I've got a little bit of trim work to do right along here. And then the entire inside of this, all of this wood paneling that you see was actually reclaimed from the other house. I have to sand it all down and then we will finish the inside of it here. I'm actually going to paint it white um, just to seal all the wood and kind of brighten it up in here. Uh, just because with all this dark wood, it, it feels uh, a little cramped. But that's it, we're getting real close to being done. The floor, if you remember the concrete work that I did before, this is the, the floor here. This will all get stained up and finished. I've got a automatic opener that has to be on the door by code. Right up on the top here, it'll automatically close the door. This door will be frosted, by the way, for everybody who's concerned. I know that there's been a number of people who have been concerned about the outhouse frosted door, but it'll definitely get taken care of. We'll have a toilet paper roll mounted on the wall here. We'll get all the rest of the fixings done. I do have this. Some of our fans of the channel have been sending some signs up that, uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones here. Um, so I have all these little tin signs that people have been sending me. Um, if everybody knows my uh, affinity for a Christmas story. No, no, I want an official red under cover and I should do want to get rid of my light rifle. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. That's where the Red Rider sign came from. Some fishing signs um, and a bunch of different ones. And uh, I'm going to be putting them up on the inside here as kind of decoration. So if you happen to know anywhere to get uh, good tin signs, let me know because I've uh, constantly keeping my eye out for them. But 
that's the quick update on the outhouse. Let's get the seat installed on here. And uh, once I get the inside sealed up with caulk, this thing should be uh, ready to go. A little bit of paint, a little bit of stain, and uh, the outhouse is in service. So kind of an exciting project for us, getting really close to being done. I think, uh, you know, Todd and the guys did a really good job on the seat. I think it's gonna be a nice addition. The cool thing is it's got a really thick level of epoxy on the outside of it, so it'll be completely sealed. So if I need to spray down the inside of this thing and then wipe it all down, it's not gonna get all rotted, warped or anything like that. And through regular use, it'll be taken care of too. So kind of a cool little update. I thought I'd take you guys along. I got my helper up here. We're going to go check the maple syrup buckets now and make sure everything's good there. Get the seat installed and we'll be well on our way. Just doing a quick uh, walk on the sap buckets. Unfortunately, we're all empty, so no additional sap this weekend. Hopefully next weekend we'll get some. It's been pretty slow. What are you doing down there, buddy? I'm making a little jump for my little buggy. So you're using your uh, what is that over there? What is that? A bulldozer? Yeah, it's kind of bulldozer, but it has wheels instead of tracks. And then what's that? It's a little um, jumper that when you send it, it will fly. So what is that? A four wheeler? Yeah, it's a kind of four wheeler. And what does it do? Buggy jumps. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you guys like these little five minute updates, make sure you leave me some comments down below on some other items you want me to update. Otherwise, this has been the Weekend Homestead, living a simple life one weekend at a time. Thanks for watching.